In this video, I really want to explain how you can get better at Mew using the Electro Ball and Light Screen combo and how I played through the game and how you can maximize your damage output playing this move. Because Light Screen and Electro Ball is currently the best move combination on Mew. It does a lot of damage. It's impossible to dodge since Electro Ball is point and click. I just want to go through and talk about on how we play this. First, the only thing you have to know is that Light Screen can give you two boost auto attack counters if you lose Light Screen out and back in. Like here's an example, right? You get one boost auto attack counter for putting your light screen out and you get another boost auto attack counter for getting your light screen back in. And while the light screen is on you, if your electro ball still th uh, flies through it, like here, if electro ball now goes through this right here, it will still be an empowered version as well. So every time it flies through it, it's empowered like this, bam, you can see it's in a big electro ball, even though light screen is on us. And this is very important to utilize because you're going to see throughout the game, I'm going to use a lot of light screens just to build up my boost auto attack counter and still have my electro balls also be instantly next to me, just losing it on cooldown. Here's an example, we push it away, we push it after we use our boost auto attack, and then we pull it back in so we don't waste one of our boost auto attack counters if we can. Just have to go to pay a bit of attention to it, of course, Mew does require a bit of attention when it comes to the boost auto attack to make sure you know exactly when it's back up. And right here as well again, I just use my light screen, even without electro ball, I just use it, now I have two boosted auto attack counters, I can use an electro ball, and I have my next boosted auto attack ready as well. Sometimes I just miss out one electro ball being empowered, but it's totally fine because my boost auto attack is just guaranteed to be up much more often without my opponents maybe knowing about it. So here's an example. I just use it and I can walk into the fight with an electro ball and instant boost auto attack without having to waste time. And uh, yeah, it's just very fast. Switch into solo beam right here to snipe away from the Sylveon. And again, we use our light screen, then boost auto attack, pull it back in so we don't miss out on one of those boosted auto attack stacks or counters, you know. Going back into electro ball right here, I just use everything at the same time. And I pull it back in the light screen. And again, I'm back at two stacks already. So always make sure you pay attention throughout this game at my boost auto attack counter. Very important. So the one right under my HP bar, this one right here, pay attention to it, right? Okay, now I'm switching my camera around, but this one right here, pay attention to it. And again, just using my light screen, getting my boost auto attack ready. And I'm uh, going to just farm, right? Of course, right now, just farming, using my light screen again. Just want to combo this bunny, but it was a bit awkward. Thought it would take a bit more damage. My Saber is currently dying. Now we snipe this one away. And I want to try to defend this goal if I can. This time we use light screen, boost auto attack, and then electro ball. So we, again, we don't waste stuff. The Savion really wanted to cap right here. But uh, yeah, he has lower HP, so my auto attack still go on him. Switching to a surf right here, another boost auto attack. Just make sure I get the KO without dying, because surf gives us a shield. And I was kind of scared I was maybe dropping too low on HP. So looking for the slow bro now. And yeah, the electro ball light screen combo. I didn't really know it was this strong either until I saw other people play it, so it's nothing that I came up with. Um, but I've been practicing a lot, and now I've been come to the point where it is insane how much light screen and electro ball does together. Here again, and you can see I use my boost auto attack first, and then I put my light screen in to make sure that I don't waste on a boost auto attack counter. Trying to defend the goal right here if I can. Bit of a kid switching to a surf again, auto attacking the Sylveon, trying to snipe him, but he's literally one HP and couldn't quite go for him. Still, I was still looking for him right here, and I do serve in, and the boost auto attack is going to connect. And he sticked around for too long, and my boost auto attack still gets him. So again, agility serve, of course, still great as well. I'm switching back to my original combo. And these scenarios as well, you can always see. If you're at three stacks with your light screen out, make sure you boost auto attack first, and you pull the light screen back in to make sure you don't waste on anything. Right here, I didn't get my boost auto attack out, sadly. Otherwise, again, there, I just wasted it. Good thing I just talked about it. I'm just trying for my farm. Want level I want level 10 for my Electro Ball Plus. Again, here in this scenario, I just use my light screen twice to get a boost auto attack ready, because then I can just walk into the fight and do an instant boost it into Electro Ball like this, and then he's take a crazy amount of damage. Here, as well again, another empowered um, Electro Ball. We get a lot of damage out. Another empowered Electro Ball. And in this scenario as well, again, I'm going to use my light screen. I'm going to basic attack. And this, this time I missed up, I could have had one more as well. In that scenario, switch over to light screen, and another boost auto attack comes through. Looking for the Sylvia now, try to snipe him without Solar Beam. But my team gets them anyways. So yeah, they're still, I still don't always have it perfectly either. But if you pay a lot of attention to it, you're going to just have a perfect, you know, rhythm or muscle memory when it comes to looking at your boosted auto attack and understanding when it's going to be up and it's not going to be up, right? Very, very important. Looking for boost auto attack right here. I have a full thingy, so I'm going to use my light screen. And now I'm going to use my light screen to push them as well a tiny bit. But first, I want to get my boosted auto attack out. If my boost auto attack is full, I don't have to use my light screen. I just use my light screen if my boost auto attack runs out of time, right? So 
if I have a three stacks and if you had three stacks of your boost out attack, right, it runs out of time slowly, so you can't keep it forever. I will use my light screen to make sure that it doesn't run out of time. Now we're very strong, we level 12 already, and we're gonna head towards maybe the objective or push right here. Again, you will see use light screen, electro ball, boost out attack, and then we pull in our light screen as well. And then make sure we don't waste any of our stacks. Looking for the blue buff, sadly, it was down. Can head towards bottom. You can see me like these scenarios. I just build up my boost auto attack and just in case I find someone. I'm just gonna instantly burst them down. You like this, instantly half HP. And another electro ball comes through. I just like having my boost auto attack ready because if I find boost auto attack ready and my next light screen is up already, I can do boost auto attack, light screen, electro ball, light screen, boost auto attack. And right here as well, again, you can see I would have not done this much damage if I didn't instantly have it up. And there's kind of walk into me and I can just look for these insane one shots, right? Because my boost auto attack is ready. I, I don't have to first light screen and boost auto attack, so I save some time. And then my next, I mean, my next side screen is already almost up as well again, so it's not like I have to wait long. Switch to surf right here, take on the Scyther. Looking for the Comfy now, of course, but I'm not going to go for the Comfy. In this game, I have actually a lot of experience for Mew. Mew being level 13 at this point in the game is quite criminal, I have to say. Switching over again, and this time we do light screen. This, I think this Electro Ball missed because my light screen didn't push him. Another Electro Ball flies through our light screen, the Sylveon goes down. And again, from far away, you use our light screen. Now we can do boost auto attack into another electro boy. Run away. Just double use our light screen right here into boost auto attack and into electro boy. But the, <laughs> the boost auto attack wasn't even necessary there. It's insane how much damage I did. Going to surf because we kind of want to maybe escape. Um, I'm trying to get my teammates invisible here, right here. But uh, sadly, my espion still goes down. Looking for the Ishifu, a boost auto attack ready and instant agility away from my surf after getting the Ishifu as well. Now, looking back as well again towards this blue buff right here, gonna boost auto attack and surf it at the same time. And we get him quite quite easily. Using my electro void or my light screen right here to keep up my boost auto attack. Going for the slow bro. Another about powered one. And again I'm just using my light screen very early on to make sure that I just always have a boost auto attack ready for when fights are breaking out. And I think it's just very, very important. Again, light screen, out, in and out. And this is how you should probably, and this, uh, this is how I understand how the best way of currently playing you is, just to make sure, you honestly just use your light screen on cooldown. If you play Sobla Beam, you can do kind of do the same as well, of course, um, but this currently right now is for sure the best. I'm level 14 now, I'm actually insanely strong. I'm gonna go for the 50 cap here as well. Our opponent's actually our top for the Regeleki, so we get a free 50 cap in. And now we can head towards top path, and you can see those Electro Boards just do so much damage and they can't be missed. It's just amazing. Again, walking to the fight, I'm going to prepare light screen. Walking to the fight, so I can boost auto attack, electro ball, my electro ball is still empowered. And by the time my next electro ball is up, you can see my electro, my, my light screen is already up as well again. Because it lasts so long on you. That is pretty much his permanent uptime. Again, here I'm going to use my light screen, or I'm going to first, I actually can get my boost auto attack out right here before it runs out. Someone gets stuck there on some vision. And I use my light screen again. Electro ball right here. And uh, boost auto attack into light screen, push him away, push my light screen back in. And that's also another advantage of just having a lot of sex as well. Um, if I'm at three, right, I can do this right here. So he walks in, right? I just boost auto attack him first. Then I do light screen, uh, electro ball light screen. Doesn't matter if you pull it in first or not, but I, you know, just do it at the same time. And then my next boost auto attack is already ready. That's why it's so important to just, even with this build, just have always be have your boost auto attack ready if you somehow can. Um, cause then you can just do double boost auto attack quite quite easily. Another electro ball comes in. I'm just trying to zone a bit right here. See if someone face checks. Again, I have low damage right now. So boost auto attack again. Light screen. Light screen, pull it back in. Another boost auto attack. And this guy is suddenly half HP. Sadly, we're a bit overextended right here. So gotta back out. But they walk into a Zashian. And they all go down right here. Two people on the enemy team now. We can do Rayquaza right now. But it's still quite scary, of course. Cause enemies can always just snipe it away. I'm kind of zoning to maybe see to see, know if I see someone. Building up a boost auto attack instantly with my Electro Boy. Slowbro takes a lot of damage right here. But on the side, that kind of pops off and kills two of my allies. And I try to do the same as well again. Just try to get a KO on him. And we do. But I use my Unite move there. Because I thought maybe if he gets a reset where there, it could be quite scary. And that was actually a bad position. Because oh, Zashian goes down. He's down for 30 seconds. Into this team fight. The Comfy kind of just runs it down. And uh, yeah, this game suddenly was very losable and sadly uh, very difficult for us to come back from this because now I have to search into Agility Surf because I might get chased down and then Mr. Slowly go for Rayquaza. We just have to try and defend it. But my move switch is on Quinn right now, so I can't go into a, like a Solar Beam to try and steal it away. And the Mies actually get it. So now our best goal is, of course, getting those shields done if we can. 
um, but I'm going to try to go to the right side and maybe score. Actually, compete with the Great Quasar Shield almost gets me right here, but I surf through it. I have a boost out tech ready. Now I switch into Light Screen Lecture Ball, and we do the same combo as we always just did. Light screen of boost auto attack, light screen, light screen, electro ball, or boost auto attack, light screen, electro ball, light screen, boost auto attack, right? Very straightforward. Now we have only 25 seconds left. This guy should get 60 points and still. And yeah. But we actually had the best item in the game on, on our Sableye right here, who's going to sneak towards the right side. And it's actually criminal that he got this one off. He pops the goal getter. He's going to walk in. Now the enemy team is there. You always should have one person on this goal. You should never just be on the jump pad, right? So you just had, had, should have one person there, one person mid, and this can't happen really. And then we actually still end up winning this game. But you can see, I hope this, you just go practice a lot. I hope you understand what I mean in this game by using a light screen a lot to just always have a boost auto attack ready. It is so, so important and something you should want to doing a Mew. And if you don't do it, you're wasting out a lot of potential damage because you're not ready walking to a fight with a boosted auto attack up. You had 15 chaos this game. 130,000. I hope this video was helpful. If it did, I would appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel.